Hello dear students, good morning. Today we are going to discuss the balance topic. That is the last portion of our chapter. See, I am explaining the last topic once more. That is the thing that we discussed in the last class as a voice message. So in that case we explained that metals on heating it expands, the ring expands and on cooling down it contracts. Contracts means it lessens its girth. That means we know uh, the example was given an axe. An axe was given as an example. So in the case of axe, this ring which expands on heating. So when it expands on heating, we place the handle, this expanded hole and after some time it is allowed to cool down. So at that time this ring contracts. This ring contracts and it forms the size of this much. And hence this handle is made to hold tightly in the axe. That's why we can fix it very easily. So that is the use of this heating and cooling down of the metals. So understand one thing, when we heat metals, they expand generally the things like iron, steel, etc. They expand on heating and they contract on cooling down. Expand means increase the girth or increase the inner surface of the round and contract means the decrease in size. This one is called a contraction. Expansion and a contraction. Expansion on heating and contraction on cooling down. That's the process. So that topic we already discussed in the last class. Now we are going to discuss of another thing that is melting. What is melting? The changing of solid into liquid which is called melting. So in an activity that is given in your textbook see page number page number 49 you can see an activity in which you can see you have already seen this in your home maybe it is present in your home also candles wax candles so this wax candles what happens when they burn you can see maybe you observed that the wax that changed into liquid form they oozes out from the top and it will be flowing down to the bottom isn't it so here we are allowed to make it flow down to the bottom until it finishes completely it will flow down isn't it whenever we stop the burning it will stop down here we place a candle in a plate and we are giving heat to that by using another candle what happens after some time the solid wax will be converted into liquid one solid is converted into liquid one and this process is called melting this is a reversible change again after some time when we allowed this to cool down what happens it is again changed into a solid form that is solid is changed into liquid by melting and when we allow it to stay for some time or when we allow it to cool down it is again converted into solid now we can burn it again we can he give heat to again um, then what happens it again becomes in liquid form and when we allow it to be the for some time it will cool down and form a solid one so that is melting the process melting the change in which solid is converted into liquid form which is called melting you know ice when ice is kept for some time the ice of the ice block melt and form water isn't it and when we place this water in the fridge, refrigerator, freezer zone, what happens after sometimes it is again converted into an ice. So it is a reversible change. So melting generally in most cases it is a reversible change. Now in case of some of the things like when we mix water and salt, is this process reversible? We mix water and salt and we make salt water with that. Can we get back our salt? Yes, there is a procedure, isn't it? What we will do, we will heat the salt. So we will place the salt water in some pan or some of the pots or something. And we give heat to this salt. And what happens when we give heat to this? Water will be evaporated 
and the one that left behind will be salt so after some time after a few moments we can see salt settling down in the bottom and water may be gone outside and we can even take this water also when we put a lid here we can trap that water and we can take out that water also so when the evaporation is going above we place a plate here so what happens if the plate is so cold this when the vapors reach in the plate they will form water droplets in the plate and hence we can take the water out so we will get water and salt we will not get the full amount complete amount of water but we can get a portion of that we can get we could get the salt the complete salt what is dissolved in the salt water so this process is a reversible one at one look it seems to be a non reversible process but we can get back the salt that way we can tell it is a reversible process and just done by evaporation evaporation means the changing of liquid into gas that we already discussed in last class so this much topics only to be discussed in this class in this chapter what is changes what is expansion what is contraction what is evaporation what is melting and how it is done these are to be explained evaporation and melting is done by giving heat expansion is also by giving heat contraction is by allowing it to cool down that is making it cold others are heat here it is allowed to cool down so it's only one process where we see cooling down that is contraction so that's all about the chapter now read the chapter it's a very easy chapter and very simple chapter very short one so it's very easy now we'll be going through the exercise section and see we haven't completed uh, i think we haven't done an exam for the last topic so we'll be conducting exam for both the chapters together for the fifth chapter and this chapter sixth chapter okay fine hope it is clear for you thank you for watching have a nice